Today's presentation will be about performance management. Performance management is defined as the system put into place at an organization for maintaining or improving job performance using assessment tools and coaching and promoting continuous feedback between managers and employees. This system develops goals that drive the individual's action and provides professional growth and enables organizational goals that are being met at the end of each day. What should a performance management do? Performance management should be an ongoing process. It is common for performance um, management to have an annual assessment, like an evaluation at the end of each year, or um, it could be a, in the fiscal year, which happens like about the fall season. Um, for some, annual recaps are necessary, but performance management is ideally carried out daily. It should be encouraged to address performance issues as they arise and not wait for an official review time. Goals should be put into place and having goals is what helps an organization achieve short, mid and long term in a good amount of time frame to ensure that all employees are meeting these expectations. Feedback should always be given to ensure strategic goals are being met. Now, how would a company ensure goals are being met is it's important to set deadlines and make sure that goals are attainable. A company can also conduct a performance appraisal. This is a tool used to evaluate the degree to which an employee accomplishes work requirements. Um, there are some misbeliefs about performance appraisals. Some believe that intended, these are intended mainly for lower level employees and that higher employees in the company don't need as much um, appraisal or like supervision and that higher levels um, you know are not in the same manner that lower le level employees are and don't really necessarily get watched in a sense or micromanaged but that's not the case I think in a company everybody is treated equally and everybody has their responsibilities to ensure that the goals are being met performance management interviews um, what are they so usually these are seen as uncomfortable and deemed negative when it doesn't have to necessarily be. Uh, these are necessary to use to help improve any deficiencies in somebody's um, daily work. Management should be seen as a positive tool that tries to help evaluate employees regarding their performance. Now, I did choose to use my own company known as Southwest Research Institute. By short, they do go by SWIRI. Um, I explained more detail of the questions that I did ask my supervisor in the PowerPoint. Now, SWIRI has an annual performance review at the end of each fiscal year, which is in September. This is a fair assessment given to each employee and is provided for the sole purpose of discussing where each employee stand and how much they have done in the last year and what goals that they meet or did not meet. It's intended for developmental purposes. It can pinpoint strengths and weaknesses, and it assists in any needed training and personal development that we need to acquire, which they do offer training classes um, in a lot. It could be whether if it's Excel, Word, or PowerPoint, even grammar and writing classes. Like, It's just something that can be seen as an opportunity to get even better at your responsibilities and help the organization grow. These uh, performance reviews can be seen as a motivational tool to meet higher expectations the following year for yourself and for your company. Um, there are no um, rater errors that I have found personally. I know there's common rater errors that occur as rater bias. In this case, it would be distortion of a measurement, which is usually unintentional due to the failure to, remo to remain um, emotionally detached while evaluating an employee. For example, if a supervisor likes you, um, might have an actual friendship with you outside of work, um, this can be seen as something that is a bias and it can change the evaluation and the estimate of an employee's true performance rating. I personally do not think I have experienced any rater errors. I feel like I have had plenty of fair assessments and have established
career performance goals in the past and my future goals, I would say that 360 performance is a great method and I've had the opportunity to experience this with Swiri. This is where an appraisal is a combination of self, peer, and supervisor and subordinate performance evaluations. This shows that they want to be um, in the know of where you think they stand and how they can maybe improve as well as far as management. Um, they don't want to just tell me what I am doing wrong or what I'm doing great at. It's They also want to hear me out and hear my opinions. I think this lets me know that my feedback is also valued and it provides insight into the effectiveness of the HR management function overall. In conclusion, Performance management systems can only be appreciated if it is accompanied by good communication plan which demonstrates the purpose of the whole system and how the employees will benefit on the clarity of the job responsibilities, standards, and goals, and importantly, how the employees and organization will benefit in total. I think that performance management helps identify and measures and develops the performance of each employee within the organization and it is designed to help improve the work performance overall over periods of time. Not everything can be done overnight, but at least there's something that is help tracking these and monitoring these goals. Performance appraisal is a part of the performance management process and at the end of the day, it's all about the employees and the managers being able to communicate together and discuss um, where everything stands and how it can only get better.